Jesus Christ! Toothless, that is amazing! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. This week, we are starting off with, once again, another supercar. It's been about two weeks in a row now, um, because this one is just so damn good. This is called Curtana, and this one is designed mostly with what I would say style in mind. It's got okay handling, but uh, it's got a lot of features that uh, make this thing truly beautiful. So let's check out some of those now. So the first feature we have is Lamborghini doors, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen many cars that actually do it this way. How are the hinges? They just got to be like right sideways. Yeah, you can see the hinge here all bent and warped like crazy, but check out that in- Oh, what did I just do? As I was saying, check out that interior. The uh, design theme of this was cyberpunk, so uh, yeah, if you get that vibe, that is why. Now, that is just one of the many features of this thing. Let me actually show you the light show that this thing creates. So we have headlights and taillights that do glow, but it's also got this Tron vibe going on that you can turn on as well, and it looks fantastic. And this is also a convertible, so you can actually put away the roof if you want and drive it in style, and it works perfectly. Now, it's also got a totally functional aerodynamic spoiler, so uh, added to the aerodynamics of this thing, this is just crazy. Now, obviously, the important part is to see how good this thing is at driving, so let's give it a shot here. Oh my god, it's even got Tron lights? I didn't even know that, but <laughs> yes, it does. This just looks like a damn supercar, and... I gotta say, banks the turns very well. I should mention we are running this very slow right now. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Very low car, so we can't even hit the side uh, banks there because <laughs> I think I just destroyed it. But yeah, I have to run this one at about 50%, so uh, it's going a lot faster than what it seems. We're going 160 kilometers into the first turn already. So yeah, very fast car. There's also a 600 mile per hour version of this. Uh, which is probably the fastest car I've ever played with. We might try out that one later. I just want to see how good this thing is at actually handling. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. I've only done one turn so far, so bear with me here. But it feels pretty damn good. Now, we do have first person as well, and oh my god, look at this. <laughs> there's there's no, like, front thing hiding the uh, steering from me, but uh, oh my god, it's even got... Is that blinkers? When, whenever I turn left or right, the uh, blinker turns on, so that's pretty damn cool. And... Just the fact of a first person is pretty amazing. I wish it wasn't so bumpy, but... Oh, God, I didn't even notice I was going off the road. My bad. Uh, I wish it wasn't such a bumpy ride, but obviously, I think you guys know by now, every vehicle in Besiege does that. That's just the Besiege physics itself. So I've been playing with this for a little while now, and I will say the handling is definitely not the best uh, as compared to recent supercars that have come out. It's not bad, though. I mean, I'm not having a too hard of a time. It just takes a little bit longer to get used to. Uh, once you get used to it, though, it feels really, really good. You just gotta kind of slow down in the turns, as you saw I did there, and, uh, yeah, you should be totally fine. I will say it's got by far the most features I've seen, though, of a supercar as of late, uh, just stylized-wise, and, uh, that's really impressive. It's also got, I think, let me actually do a brake check here. Okay, so you can see the wobble there. That's a crazy amount of wobble, but the important part is it didn't break. A lot of cars do break in this game when you hit the brakes just because the physics can't keep up. So the only other thing that it really has is a front axle lifter, so if you do have to go over a speed bump, you are totally good, and you can do so. Oh, and yeah, it also has a speed boost. I keep forgetting all the things, so let's engage that now. We're going over 200, 230, 258, 274. You gotta remember, there's a 600 kilometer version of this too, so it probably goes about double the speed of this one, which is crazy that wheels can do that. Uh, is my engine on fire? What the hell's that? I'm assuming that's just the lights playing with this thing, but uh, it looks like my engine's actually on fire. All right, let's try a crash test because, well, it doesn't really matter if a crash is good or bad, but I just want to crash it. And yeah, this thing's got a lot of freaking parts in it, Jesus. Okay, just for fun, same car except the 600 mile an hour version. Let's, oh my God, oh my, are those wheels, are they gonna stay on? Look, this is just ridiculous. Th that is too much. Those wheels should not be on. I am just understeering like crazy. I wanted to get to the straight. I don't know if this thing will last long enough to get to the straight. Let's see how fast we go 
just from here. So we're already going as fast as the other one. We are over the speed of the other one. 400. <laughs> Look at the wheels. Oh, God. It breaks under its own speed. You might need to use invincibility with this one because this, <laughs> this is just too much. All right, let's try it with invincibility on. I want to see if this thing can actually go 600. All right, we're coming to a decent straight now. This thing just makes me smile. I mean... This should not work. The wheels are like, what the hell is going on with me right now? Uh, but yeah, we're going to try it here. This is probably a, the, one of the more decent straights on this. I'm turning on my boost. Already over 400. 500, here we come. Oh my god. It doesn't feel like we're going 500, but we indeed are. 560, 564, 573. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it. I mean, obviously, though, if you get a long enough straight, it's going to be... <laughs> close to 600 kilometers an hour we're obviously not gonna break it right now and wow you can kind of tell how fast we're going now just by that hit jesus so yeah that's gonna wrap it up with this one i didn't even notice the license plate get good indeed you're gonna have to get good when you're fighting against Curtana. so another awesome supercar thought i'd show you guys another one because i probably don't show enough you know four-wheeled vehicles all right, and moving on, our next one is a new mini game. This is a firefighting mini game on Bana Banana City. Yes, Banana City. <laughs> Banana City. I wish it was Banana City, but it's from Ace Combat 5. At least the map is. And we have a mini game here where we have to put out all the fires. And there's fires everywhere. There's at least like 20 going on. So there's two different modes you can choose, Aerial Firefighting Challenge or Ground Firefighting Challenge. We're going to do Aerial, obviously, because that sounds more fun. And then there's a free sandbox mode if you just want to screw around as well. Now, this is a time-based mission. Uh, there's a leaderboard system, at least on the uh, Steam Workshop page. So if you're competitive, this is a really cool mini game where you can try and outpace the competition. I'm just going to try and put out a few fires here. Let's be honest, I am definitely not going to get the fastest time. I think the fastest time was like a minute or something stupid like that. So yeah, screw that. I'm just all about saving lives. We don't have to rush this or anything. It's not like buildings are on fire. <laughs> oh God, I'm an idiot. Uh, but yeah, basically we have a water bay of... <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? Ah, uh, man, I am just, I'm so close again. Why am I going so close? We don't need to be this close. I mean, yes, it's water, but goddamn, cool your jets. Oh, there goes my landing gear. I guess we're not landing this thing, unless we're crashing it. All right, this is an important one. We need to get the hospital up and running. Oh, God. Ah, uh, well, at least I fixed the hospital. All right, let's try that again. This time, I'm not gonna turn as crazy. And, uh, yeah, let's not make crazy maneuvers here. I'm clearly not skilled enough to do that. We're gonna close that bay off. I don't know if there's a certain amount of water we have. But, you can see the scale of this map. I mean, I don't know why everything's on fire. Don't ask me, but it's absolutely crazy right now. Did a volcano explode? I have no idea. But we have another island over here as well. So, there's a lot of fires we have to put out. I'm gonna do my best shot to see how far we can get. Did that go out? Okay, it did go out. I was a little worried there that I missed it. All right, this is a much better part of the uh, city, though. It's a lot easier to maneuver. We don't have to worry about hitting a million buildings, so that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Drop that one. We got three fires over here. Hopefully, there's no invisible walls, because that would suck. Because I kind of didn't aim for that one right. I'm going to find out if there's an invisible wall really quickly. No! Why would you be there? Oh, man. At least give me a little room to turn around. You don't end the freaking map right after the city. Well, I guess you do, because you did. Uh, you're not supposed to be on fire. You are not supposed to be on fire. What the hell just happened? You have water on you. That doesn't even make... I'm going down. I'm going freaking down. Did I really go so close to the fire that it ignited my plane? Did I get it? Oh, this is a hard one, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one. I'm gonna go back to that, because that is ridiculous. Oh, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling! No! Can I flip it? 
I don't know what I, 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 I can't install. Let me actually try and overdrive it. Come on, overdrive, overdrive. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Holy crap, I did it. <laughs> oh my God, that was ridiculous. I thought I was a goner. We're still going. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get 100% though. No, I've lost control of my plane. That's what, oh, you know what happened? I clicked off my damn game. What, I was at 94%. Did I actually hit it? I must've hit it. I had one more to do. Are you serious? Oh, that really sucks. So I'm not sure how fast I was there. It doesn't tell you until the end. We were running in slow motion, so it's hard to tell, but Brammer had a little over a minute, so uh, I don't even think I was close to there, but the slowest time at fourth place is 11 minutes. I think I would have competed for that. That's too bad, man. Still really fun, challenging, and uh, that's what a good mini game's all about. And we have another rocket to take off. This is the Belkin 9, which is obviously based off of the Falcon 9. It's a three-stage rocket. Let's see if we can actually land this thing. So we are supposed to be able to land both the um, shuttle itself as well as the capsule. So I'm going to see if I can do both. I have no idea if that's going to be possible or not. This thing is going extremely high, though. So I think I just heard the uh, burners go off. They're still going to have a little bit of fuel on them, as you can see. So we're going to keep going until those burners totally deplete. And then we move on to stage two, which is obviously separation. All right, burners are totally off. We are keeping it separated. Now at 600 kilometers, vanette velocity, five to 600, we have to engage the uh, air brakes. So there we go, we got the air brakes engaged. We are still really high up. They're definitely working though, as you can see. Uh, I can actually toggle this on and off. I don't wanna go too slow down because I do have to uh, focus on the uh, capsule as well, but I do wanna land this thing. So let's slow it down. There we go. I don't know if we're gonna perfectly land back on the uh, landing pad, it looks like we're a little bit off center. That's totally fine. Let's actually engage as well the landing pad. So there we go. Oh, whoa, okay. A Little bit of a light show there. Oh yeah, this is good. We're dropping it down to 70. Okay, I'm just gonna fall down a little bit faster. Ooh, I might, have I might regret doing this. I might regret doing this. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, that oh, was not the perfect landing, I'll be honest, but that was mostly due to my fault. So let's go to the capsule camera, and how are we doing here? Where the hell are we looking? So with this one, all we have to do is engage the, oh god, the landing pad. Uh, I think I did that wrong. I might have done, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna die. We are definitely gonna die, guys. That was not perfect. I think I had to do that closer to the ground. I'm not certain. I mean, would we have died? I don't know, it's hard to say. All right, this is looking like a much better landing. There we go. Now all we need to do is press three when this thing's almost at the ground. Oh my God, it's going down so fast. Why am I, oh, I'm looking, okay, it's upside down. So we just have to tap three. I wanted to see if I could successfully, oh God, I just did it right at the end there. Okay, so not really sure how to land the actual capsule itself. This is a very confusing view. Uh, but I could successfully land the recoverable booster, so I will say that's about half of a success. But yeah, that's the Belkin 9. I wish I was a little bit better with it, but, uh, yeah, pretty complex little rocket here. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. We're about to end off another episode of the Best Besieged Creations, and what better way to end off than with good old Toothless. So yes, this is a dragon ornithopter that can actually gallop to uh, start fly. This is amazing. Oh my god, I've seen very few galloping creations, so this is just weird. Anyways, we should be able to... Jesus Christ, take off. This is a legit dragon, guys. This is actually really, really cool. And yeah, it's friggin' toothless. I mean, how cool is that? I wonder if we can land this thing, though. Okay, it's actually very easy to fly. I'm really impressed. Um, obviously it's got some sort of balancing going on. You can see when we fly, it has, it's, it's not a legit ornithopter, which is fine. I'm just letting you guys know. And, oh God. All right. You do have to run an invincibility too. So I don't think we would have survived that, but goddamn, Toothless is a strong dude. So you never know. What happened to your eyeball? Oh my God. They combined into one again. This happens all the time with creations for me. For some reason, the eyes go crazy. But yeah, you know, it's another ornithopter, at least kind of, and uh, they're always fun to play with. We can also shoot. Oh my god. Holy crap, Toothless. 
I didn't expect it to be like a laser shot. You know what? Let's see if we can go destroy something then. I'm gonna come down here, start flapping again. There we go. Oh my god, I'm I this is actually really impressive. I mean not that I'm surprised. I thought it would be, but you know, so sometimes you never know. Jesus Christ! Toothless, that is amazing! Hold on, we're going in! Okay, totally missed it, but Toothless still took it down anyways. Relax, Toothless, it's okay, buddy, it's okay. You're on fire, but you're a dragon? I think that's okay. And, uh, yeah, that was a fun, you know, let me fix my wings here. There we go, we'll hold those things up. Let's just go back to galloping. Okay, both of his eyeballs, never mind, they're still there, I thought they were gone. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of the best Besiege creations here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some really unique designs this week, and I just want to thank you guys for being absolutely awesome and supporting me uh, throughout all these years with Besiege. It really is an amazing game, and there's never a dull moment. There's always something different in every episode, so I, I really enjoy playing this game, and I hope you guys are still enjoying it as well. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.